everyone! It's starting to feel more like fall outside where I live, and the perfect way to get into the fall spirit is to wear a sweater on your nails. I've seen looks like this done with gel before, but I'm here to show you how you can get it with just regular polish. If you're ready to start feeling warm and cozy, just keep watching. I've already painted two coats of my chosen base shades to each of my nails. The gray is Essie Cocktail Bling, the pale shade is Essie Mix Taupe. Cover all of your nails with one layer of top coat. Even though this design has a matte finish, I always use a traditional shiny top coat first. It helps to prolong the wear and ensure a smooth finish. I'm using Essie Speed Setter. Once your nails are dry to the touch, put one layer of matte top coat over all of your nails. Be sure to cover the entire nail or you may still see some shiny areas once it's dry. Here are three quick tips for getting the best results from a matte finish top coat. Before use, make sure to roll the bottle to get the product moving. Matte top coat will settle when not in use and takes on a more fluid consistency when you mix it up a bit. I'm usually okay with shaking polish to mix it, but matte top coat seems to be especially prone to air bubbles and rolling the bottle helps prevent them from forming. Look at the brush before painting each nail to check for any dried up bits that may have made their way onto the brush or any visible air bubbles. If you've ever seen white specks on your nail when matte top coat is dried, one of these things is usually the culprit. To help prevent those dry bits from getting into the bottle in the first place, be sure to wipe the neck of the bottle after each use with polish remover to clean it and ensure a good seal. Okay, back to painting. Take a detail brush dipped in your chosen shade and paint on your sweater pattern. The important thing to remember here is to use almost no pressure on your brush. You are really just helping to glide the polish along. Be sure to clean your brush frequently during this process with polish remover to ensure your lines stay thin and clean. I'm also using a dotting tool to add some dots at the sides. Go over the design again with a second coat of polish. Your ultimate goal here is to build height. The more height, the better the final result. I'm using my brush to add a second coat to the dots versus a dotting tool which can flatten them. Next, take a thick top coat, I'm using Essie Call It Even, and go over your design with a detail brush again to build even more height. This is not the time to use a top coat with a thin, watery consistency. Essie Gel Setter is also a good option. You can leave the design shiny if you prefer, but I'm going over the design one last time with my matte finish top coat. And here we have sweater weather for your nails. I love to see your recreations, so if you do this look, please tag me. I'm at Chroma Nails on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Happy painting!